Hi everyone! You are watching The Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. I'm your business evangelist Lloyd Luna and this is Creative Business. Today, the headlines that made another exciting business week. A wrap-up of big news and interesting events that shaped the last seven days of Philippine business. Next, classroom education, they say, is costly. However, it is necessary. But when you are out of school and you are already working, does education still sound sweet to you? Attending conventions, conferences, seminars, workshops, a simple learning session might have a price, but why must we invest in these activities? PowerMax Consulting President Rene Espinosa is sharing his experience on running seminars and running away with the money. Also today, the world of captured moments, the world of good memories printed on a piece of paper. Ready? One, two, smile. Then you hear this click, the moment is processed, and then ta-da! Here's your picture, sir. But what's inside Camera World that made it the brand that we know now? Camera World President PJ Castro is taking his shot on their story. In my top eight, what successful people do that unsuccessful people don't? And finally, a new creative business series, Alphabet of Achievement, the A to Z of setting your goals. Start today with letter A, abandon your extra baggage. Let's begin the hour with not so exclusive headlines that shaped the business community. Farm output contracted slightly in 2010. The agricultural department yesterday said, as a year-end rebound failed to make up for three negative quarters, full year, and this is a quote, full year production was slightly down, according to our Agriculture Assistant Secretary, Romeo S. Reside. Hmm, why is that? Rolando TD, the Executive Director of the University of Asia and the Pacific's Center for Agribusiness, has his take on this, and I quote, In agriculture, it all depends on weather conditions. The wet season is good for rice and corn if there will be no flooding involved, but will translate to losses for mangoes, tobacco, eggplants, and many more. You see, guys, it's all about weather. Next. Local airlines are calling, <coughs> calling on the government. Hello, government. Are you there? To fast track the expansion of the Ninoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 3 to cope with the robust growth expected in the country's air travel sector over the next five years. This call suggests, what's the suggestion? That the government needs to allot some funds and some you know, budget in case the government hears this. Will this be under President Aquino's public-private partnership? Nonetheless, calling for a bigger terminal means better business in the aviation and tourism as a whole. Well, are we running out of land in Metro Manila? Why did I ask? Property giant Ayala Land Incorporated is investing in a new 148-room boutique hotel in Davao City. So Davao, as we know, is the center of trade and industry in Mindanao. Ayala is believed to work on this project so passionately along with the company's growing interest in Philippine tourism. The new hotel envisioned to redefine, take this ladies and gentlemen, to redefine the hospitality industry. Well, we don't know what this means, but this, or in this booming metropolis by providing cozy, stylish setting when it opens in mid-2012. Those were the headlines that shaped our week. Now, why don't we have our first guest? Live from the Global News Network Studio in the Philippines, here's your business evangelist and host, Boy Luna. Training, seminars, workshops, conventions, conferences, summits. You know, ladies and gentlemen, 
they come in different packages, different costs, different venues, and different occasions, different people of different topics. Interestingly, these things are managed and marketed by one entity. One businessman took an inarguably bold step to set up this kind of business, making money out of you attending learning sessions. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good, very, very good friend of mine. That's why he's here. Power Max President Rene Espinosa is here in the studio. Good morning, Rene. Morning, guys. How are you? I'm great. How about you? I, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Which family? <laughs> okay. Family. I learned from you. I learned from you. Yeah. Power Max Consulting. Being in the business of or and attend the seminar. How tough is this business? Well, it's tough, but you know, it's a matter of persuading people that it is of immense importance to invest in your self-development. You know, you don't reach a point when you're true changing or you're true learning. As the saying goes, when you're true improving, you're true. Uh, okay. That's why you first have to people to rise above the level of themselves, to improve their sales, improve their business, mm -hmm. which is good for them. Right. How was 2010? 2010 was excellent. Uh, we had a very good performance and we posted a, a very positive growth. And you celebrated your Christmas and New Year with the family? Of course. You have, you have children, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> how, how many are they? Uh, there are two. Uh, two. Christelle and Kiro. Okay. How are they? Great, great. Uh, they're so good looking because they're trying to emulate me. No, just kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, maybe, yeah. Okay. Uh, whatever you say. But this year, how is it going to be? I understand the challenge, but uh, you know, uh, I am always imbued with optimism and I always explore ways to improve things. You know, if I teach people to uh, rise above the level of themselves, then I must walk my talk. I must uh, constantly look for ways to improve things. Mm -hmm. To uh, uh, There is always a way. Uh, as the saying goes, the biggest room in my house is the room for self-improvement. Oh, so, yeah. What kind of, of uh, space is that? <laughs> that self-improvement? <laughs> it's like an empty space where you actually improve yourself. Yes, yes, Where yes. is it located in your house? In my heart. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's great. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay, 